This video is brought to you by Ecoholics. In this video, we will discuss about skewness. Because in the previous video, we had discussed about measures of central tendency and measures of dispersion. So here, first of all, we'll discuss about the definition. So first, when, when a series is a not symmetrical, it is it is said to be it is said to be skewed it means whenever we have a series the value of the series that is value of mean median and mode is different when we consider that series is not symmetrical or series is skewed in other words we can also say that lack of lack of a symmetry is known as skewness so here in the other words we can also say that asymmetrical series is also known as a skewed series so here we begin with the skewness but now we consider that what is the difference between the skewness and the dispersion dispersion shows the amount of a variation so first we will write dispersion Dispersion shows the amount of variation. Skewness shows the direction and the extent of that variation. So here we can see the clear cut difference between these two that is dispersion we discussed in the previous videos skewness shows the direction and the extent of variation so this is the limitation of the dispersion that skewness can fulfill that major demand so amount of variation what is the amount of the variation but here the direction and the extent it means how symmetrical or how asymmetrical is your series now we consider about the test of skewness. It means how can we uh, get to know about that the series is skewed or not. So the heading is test of skewness. First one, the value of mean median and the mode should not be equal it means whenever we get the value of these three are different we can say that is not equal not equal so whenever we get the different value of these three uh, mean median and mode we can easily say that series is skewed Whenever the series of data when we plot it on the graph, we will not get the perfect bell-shaped curve. So this is also one of the sign that the series is skewed. So whenever we not get the bell-shaped sign of the graphical representation of that series, we can also say that or conclude that series is skewed. And third point is, positive values of median are not equal to negative values of median so positive values of the median are not equal. So here the keyword is not equal to the negative values of median. It means we get the sign that the series is skewed. Fourth one is the last one. 
quartal deviation is not perfectly at the right position it means quartal deviation whenever is not at the right position when we compare with the median the value of median we can also get or we can also conclude that the series is skewed so these are the four tests we can consider that the series is skewed or series has some asymmetry now we will consider or we will see that what are the types of solving that is skewness it means we have two measures in our hand that is absolute measurement and the relative measurement so skewness we can uh, refer as a measures measures of skewness so here a little bit flow chart that is quite bit straight so absolute measure and here relative measure these are the two methods here this is the only formula so here we are referring sk as the skewness mean minus mode so we have to apply the simple formula if the value of mean is greater than the value of mode it means the value of skewness when we consider absolute measure if it comes out as positive it means the series is positively skewed because we can see that if the value of mean is greater than the value of mode the answer or the uh, or the outcome is comes out as positive so we can also conclude that the value of a uh, positively skewed and the vice versa we can say that also when the value of mode is greater than the value of median the answer comes out as negative values and we can also say that the skewness is a negative or the series is negatively skewed considering on the other side there are four methods first one is the carl pearson carl pearson's coefficient of skewness this is the first method we'll discuss in the next video second is bowler is coefficient of skewness bowler is coefficient of skewness third one is kelly's coefficient of skewness and the fourth one is skewness based on skewness based on a momentous these are the four methods the relative measures of skewness so these are the major important criteria when we consider measure of skewness absolute measure and relative measure for a general consideration we are using these four methods was in the, in the next two videos we'll discuss about carl pearson's coefficient of skewness and bowler's coefficient of skewness hope you like this video this is a, a little bit a short video of a brief introduction about skewness hope you like this video please share and subscribe this video as well as ecoholics hit the subscribe button if you have any doubt any suggestion you can mention in the comment box or you can also email us at our email id that is given in the description of this video hope you like this video once again thank you so much